guys, we are back with another YouTube video. Another celebrity workout. Today we're doing the famous Arnold Schwarzenegger's chest workout. I'm pretty excited. I feel like I'm gonna actually love this workout though because it's a lot of benching. That's my favorite exercise. So let's do it. Let's go take some pee. Alright, so today's pre. So we've been trying to take a little caffeine break and instead of going cold turkey on uh, free, because I really don't want to, we're going to go about a half a scoop. If I can get a half a scoop. There. Cheers. I stop on the devil. It's your boy Mike T. I got him laying right out on the floor flat. Trying to find me, I'm right with the Lord. That I'm looking in because I know what the source said. Give him my problems that got any. All right. So the first thing that Arnold does is five sets of bench press, selling in around 8 to 12 rep range. So we're going to do a couple warm up sets and hopefully we can get the weight right so that I can sell around 8 to 12. Actually, Arnold adds weight every single set. So the first what, uh, first set, he sells around the eight to twelve rep range, and then he keeps adding weight. And on the fifth set, he sells around the four rep range. All right. So on the first. That we have 175. Hopefully that is a accurate guess around the 8 to 12 rep. I know I could get at least 8 with it. Um, but if it's more, it's more. It's whatever. I just don't want it to be less. So yeah, the first set is 175, and then we'll go from there. I hate that some days you can rep like 190 for like six, but then you can barely rep 175 for two more reps. I hate, no, nah, I hate the gym. It makes me so mad. But anyway, we got eight, eight reps with that, which should not have been hard, but it really was for no reason. So, freak me. So, we're going to move up five pounds and try to go for six or seven reps, I guess. Sleep has been actually terrible lately, so maybe that's why I'm weakest right now. Dang, it makes me so mad. That's what at the beginning of the video, I'm trying to take a caffeine break. Because my sleep's been terrible lately. And 
my thinking is because the pre-workout I take is just building up in me, so I need to take a break, but I'm, I'm not doing half scoops anymore. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm taking a break from pre-workout until I get a good night's sleep. Just a reminder, every single day, you're not going to be able to give 100%, but, get, but give 100% of what you're able to give. I know that sounds kind of weird, but, like, let's say you show up to the gym, and you can only, like, your body only lets you get, like, 75% out, then give 100% of that 75%. That's your limit. For the next set, I'm going to go up by 5 pounds again. So this is 185, hopefully, for 6, 5 or 6. I gotta lower the weight because I'm freaking weak right now. Oh, give me so mad for real. Early rep 185 for four. I, sh I like almost died on the fourth freaking rep. So, I just gotta stay calm. We gotta lower the weight and yeah. This just goes to show that me, I love being in the gym. I like, I want to be in the gym 24/7, but not every single time. It's all like it's just perfect, you know. Like this, I'm not having the greatest workout right now. My sleep was probably bad last night. My food was, has probably been bad lately. So there's a lot of things that like could be the result of, or like could be why I'm having a bad workout, but. We just got to try to stay calm and then just remember, like, anything is better than nothing. With that said, let's move to the next exercise. The next exercise is incline bench. Another five sets, 8 to 12, or failing in 8 to 12 rep range. Normally with incline, I would go 135 plus, but as you've seen how this list has gone so far, I don't want to, I don't want to try that on incline. I don't want to risk injury or anything. Uh, so we're gonna keep it light and just we're not light, but we're gonna keep it in a easily controlled weight and just focus on like reps. Alright, so we have 120 on the bar, which is normally should be really light because normally I warm up with 135. But um, judging how this workout has been so far, I might not even do <laughs> this for one. So yeah, hopefully we can get it in the 8 to 12 rep range.
incline is actually feeling really good right now. I mean, we're going lightweight, but it's actually feeling really, really good. I'm really feeling my chest activating, and yeah, I mean, like, there's nothing really I have to say. It feels good. incline bench that's actually felt amazing now we're going to now arnold goes into incline dumbbell uh this one's not five sets it's four sets and still going around the same rep range so again we're not going super heavy i'm just gonna really focus on the squeeze and stuff like i said we're going really light all right not really light but we're going decently light enough where we can fail in that rep range but keep it controlled so we we only got 55. So yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. oh. I said I'm going light, but dang, I'm burnt out from that, from the bench and the incline. So this dumbbell, the 55, is actually like burning a lot. Whew. But they feel amazing, so maybe the bad part of the workout was just the beginning, hopefully. Another thing I wanted to say, though, is on some days, some movements may not feel the greatest. Like, for instance, bench. I love bench. Most days it feels amazing, but like today, honestly, it did not feel amazing. If I wasn't doing Arnold's workout and like a real workout, I would have just gone to the next workout. Like, I would have just changed the exercise. Unless you're on like a program or something, there's no point of doing something that that doesn't feel good that day. You know what I mean? Let's stop talking. Let's get back to the set. Oh, 
Alright, so we're about 70% done, done with the workout. We still got three, or no, 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 two more things. And I am burnt. My chest is on fire right now. But we're going to finish strong, and then we're going to take the nasty pump. So the next thing Arnold goes into is dumbbell flies. Yay. We're definitely not going heavy on this one. So, yeah, because I'm already burnt. I did dumbbell flies. I did 55, but I just um, 55 on incline just killed me, so I'm not doing flies with 50. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but it's gonna be light. So we got about 35 pounds dumbbells. Uh, it says to fill around the 10 to 15 rep range. This is so much volume, but huh, we got one more set of this, and then moving on to the next thing. We're gonna finish strong. Definitely had more in me, but um, something did not feel right in my left pec on that like the last couple of reps. So no, no, I'm not risking it for a video. No. Uh, so now onto the next thing. The next thing is dip dip bars, but I do have ring dips. I do the same thing. I don't even know if I can do a dip anymore. I haven't done a dip since seventh grade. I haven't done. Ringed up since seventh grade. I'm going into tenth grade now, so <laughs> um, yeah, that's awesome. Um, but we got this three sets, and if we can't do it, we're just gonna do it. I don't know.
sloppy refs, not gonna lie, but I don't care. I surprised myself. I actually did not think I could get more than like three, but I did, so yeah, whatever. And it's the squeeze on that. Oh, look at that squishy. All right, anyway, <laughs> the squeeze on that felt amazing, so yeah, we got two more sets of that, and we're finally done. Look at the striations. Up. Oh my gosh. Alright, so that was a pretty good workout. I, it was actually an amazing workout. The beginning was kind of terrible. I was getting really frustrated for no reason. Um, uh, I'll put the workout up on the screen. Got a nasty pump from it. Yeah. Yeah, um, nothing really else to say. I'll probably never try that workout again because that is so much volume. Uh, yeah, give this workout a try. So, follow on the screen, and I'll see you next workout. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button for more content like this.